this is Raymond. I'm going to go over pistons and rings on a Volkswagen 1600 engine, uh, 1600cc engine. Okay. So first of all, I'm going to show you uh, right here. Okay. As you see, that's my uh, piston kit that I obtained. Okay. That includes uh, my four jugs or cylinders, you know, and also my pistons uh, along along with the pins for the corresponding piston over here. Okay, if you notice all the pistons already have the the rings assembled. I already assembled them earlier. See that? So all the rings are already in the piston itself, okay? Okay, one thing I wanted to talk to you about or I wanted to say is that in this piston you know I didn't have an error for piston orientation there's some markings and writings over the pistons but there's no arrow I'm gonna go back to an old piston that I have here and and if you notice this piston uh, let me find that arrow yeah this arrow is right here I believe it's that one right there. Camera won't zoom that good on it. It's right here. Might not be, might not seem clear, but that, that's an arrow. Mm, that'll tell the, the person putting in the piston, the orientation of the piston, which way the piston should go in the engine okay um, usually it will be uh, facing the flywheel but uh, anyways my my old, my new pistons do not have that arrow so what I did I ended up doing some research okay and the way uh, they figured out I mean uh, where the piston is at I mean because if you don't put this thing correctly if you don't assemble the uh, the piston correctly you're gonna have engine uh, uh, mock function and not only that you're gonna you're gonna break something in there something is gonna give along the way and that is not good okay so we want to make it uh, perfectly correct so what I did I did some research okay and found out that uh, in the back of these pistons if you see that that point right there this this area does not have it you see that area right there that point right there that's also um, like an arrow you know you can use and and put that to face the the flywheel on the on the vehicle on the engine I'm sorry so with that being said you know just make sure that before you assemble your engine that the piston is facing correctly okay so and again as you as I said before you know I I mean they I already as I, I mean assemble my rings so one difference between these uh, the old ring and, and the new ring, the new spander, is uh, the bottom ring right here, is that uh, is a different one now. And the old one, I used to have a three-piece spander, you know. So the one on the uh, middle, and two uh, small rings, one that goes on the top and one that goes on the bottom, and they assemble as a whole un as a as a one unit to go into the piston. Okay, but it, this new method or new piston ring, as you see, is only one, and it's all uh, all assembled into one 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 piece, with having that little oil uh, expander in the inside. This is good because you're only gonna have one gap to deal with when you're placing the piston into the jug or into the cylinder. Okay. So that is one piston assembly. Okay, I'm gonna show you the different rings. Okay, so we got two rings. Okay, actually let's let's start with the oil ring, which is this one, the one I was telling you about. I, I marked it with tape right there just to make sure that I know which one goes where before I pull them out, but I'm not gonna use them anymore. I'm gonna use new ones. So this one, this part of the oil ring, 
is the one that goes all the way to the bottom on the piston. I'm going to use this old piston to uh, for for the purpose of training. Okay, so that oil ring right here is the one that goes right here on the bottom along this here. Okay. Now we're gonna move on to the middle. We're gonna work work our way up. We're gonna go from the uh, bottom to the middle one and to the top one. So we know that that's the that's the oil ring. Make sure you don't um, you know when you are assembling your pistons you don't mix them because if you do you're gonna have problems. You're gonna have uh, your car is gonna be burning oil. It's not gonna be working correctly. The compression is not gonna be as good. You know if you if you um, in this case don't don't place them correctly. Okay, one thing is that manufacturers in this case tell you oh um, the rings are already marked. Okay. In this case, this ring right here, you see, this right here is the very top ring, or the compression ring. If you see there's a dot, uh, it's hard to see the camera, I won't pick up the dot. Anyways, the dot is somewhere right, ah, yeah, right here with the help of the light. You see the, the, the dot right there? You can see it right there. It's a dot. Okay. That dot that is subscribed into the the ring that goes that faces up. Meaning meaning it will face up. Okay. Or in the newer rings in the newer rings uh you will see the words either top in English you see right there at the end at the ends right here it will say like like top meaning the top of the ring it's inscribed right there it's hard to see again and the camera is not working that good it says stop right there and in the and it says go it says goe g o e top for german i remember my uh, volkswagen is german so uh german manufacturers they make sure that they got the language in there so we got go for top for the germans okay and as you see there's the gap that's the the piston gap as well that i will talk to you about in a second okay that the piston gap the hole in there in between the ring okay let's go back to the to the uh, piston rings okay so again uh, again we have that that this one right here is my oil ring okay it's a again this is a, a assembly one top one middle expander and a bottom ring Okay, so that makes that goes in here in the biggest groove in the piston. Okay, now let's move on to the next next ring. This one right here. Okay. They might look the same if you look. They look the same, but they're not the same. It's hard to see, okay. So anyways, so let's work with the middle. This ring right here is the second compression ring okay so this second compression ring has got an oil scraper on it okay this right here is the top of the ring okay I don't see the dot here because this is worn out already this is old it's been working in my car for the past six years so it's not it's not as good I mean it's it's, it's worn out maybe the dot went away already anyway so we got the scraper Okay, that's this is the top part. Okay, again we got the gap right there, and this is the bottom part. And if you leave, 